Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, real quick here, what I wanted to do, ho ho, screen's going everywhere. Um, just wanted to do a quick update uh, to what's going on with the channel, some other, you know, kind of cool stuff. And, uh, you know, I've been sitting here, just inking away some more pages for the standard, and a couple things kind of hit me. Uh, and one of those things being, uh, I apologize for the lack of actual YouTube videos. Uh, must seem to some of my long-term subscribers, and maybe some of you other guys and girls out there that have just started subscribing, uh, that like all the things I'm uploading are are stream videos. It's no more of this content stuff, you know, um, you know, like specific things. I, I've had a couple of videos asking you guys what you would like to see, and I definitely will be getting back to that. And it kind of goes into what I'm going to talk about really quickly here. Um, so right off the bat. What I'm going to be doing is the live streams have usually been every Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if I'm going to be getting back to that. What I would uh, ask you guys to do, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, just to keep an eye out um, and check back for any posts that I make on a Thursday to see if it's going to if it's going to happen. But the reason why I'm uh, <clears throat> at least right now going to get away from that is it's a little bit of a personal reason. Um, I'm still going to be doing the streams. I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> but uh, for those of you that have been in there, and I don't want to turn this into a big sob story and stuff like that. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to give you guys some background. I like being able to talk to you guys and, you know, give you guys a little bit of an insider kind of thing about, like, what's going on with the actual stuff. Because I, I, I've had... Actually, quite a bit of people over the last month messaged me saying things like, oh, how do you keep motivated? You know, you always do all this stuff. How, like, how, do you even have fun? Do, or do, is all you do work? And uh, unfortunately, all I do, it seems, uh, is work. And what's really weird is a lot of the work I'm doing, it doesn't seem to be paying off. And what I mean by that is, you know, we all prefer to have deadlines with our work and stuff. And I'll be sitting here drawing... Um, but for some reason, uh, it feels like your steam or your uh, longevity and all that, your energy that goes into the stuff, it just kind of is waning. And uh, you start noodling over certain areas. So you're still working, but you're not really working, right? Uh, so I had sent an email out uh, to my editor and a few other cool people that are working on the standard with me. And a lot of the guys from Comics Tribe. Do you guys have any, like, what can you guys recommend to help fix this? Because, you know, if the deadlines aren't being hit, you know, and, and I'm not going to totally shy away from this. I've been hit, missing deadlines for quite some time now. And it's kind of a sh uh, shame and a little embarrassing to say. But it's true, right? I don't want to give this illusion that, um, you know, if you want it bad enough, you'll do it. I'm not a big believer in that. Uh, it's a nice idea. But there's got to be little things you can implement to actually make that a reality. And I think that's mostly what that saying, or that phrase is trying to say. And in saying all that, um, I reached out to those guys, and they gave me some really awesome advice. And what I want to try doing, and I tried doing this in Toronto, and actually if you go back, if you guys want to, you don't have to, it's not really important to, to what I'm about to say. But uh, there was a moment where the deadlines were getting so crazy about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, or what I did is I started waking up early, and here we go, we're going to get into that stuff right now, <laughs> but I, so I was noticing back then that waking up a little earlier uh, was really helpful, and I don't know what it is, uh, I'm not really a morning person, I'm not really a night person either, I'm more of like a regular day person, I hate staying up late, waking up early is a struggle, and I'm sure it is for a lot of you guys out there as well, but uh one of the guys, he had sent me a link, and I'll include that link right in the show notes, right at the bottom there. Uh, you can click it and read it yourself. I highly recommend reading it, especially if you feel like you're struggling or you wish you could get more done in your day. Just the concept that he presents, it's not new, but it's its kind of what I've been talking about uh, over the streams for the last little bit, where it's you, you've heard of this stuff before, but its something clicks when you rehear it over and over again, you know? Uh, same things when you're looking at your anatomy and you're drawing and you could be drawing hands and you know they're good but eventually they just start to get real good and you see it in a different light when you start looking at your uh, tutorials and your anatomy books and all that stuff like that and essentially what they were talking about in that uh, little blog post was waking up at 4 a.m. what and then going to bed by 9 p.m. what and here's the idea this works generally for people that have full-time jobs let's say so a nine to five 
And the idea is you wake up before going to your day job so that you're fresh and you've got your most energy so that you can tackle, you know, your comics or individual projects. And then, you know, you can go to work. You still have your energy for that. But once you're done work, that's when you've got your three to four hours, you know, to just do whatever you want. You want to work on a personal project or maybe you wake up early to that personal project. Uh, you have that time or you can do something that I haven't had the ability to do for a little while now, which is just kind of like hang out with family or friends or just go do something, you know? And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to try. Read the article, check it out yourself. And the whole purpose of that video or this video anyway is it's not a tutorial video. I just wanted to share that with you guys um, because I know not everybody watches the streams. They're like an hour long. There's a lot of stuff in there. And sometimes, right, it doesn't have all that cool stuff in there. So I'm just rambling what I'm doing right now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And that's also to say that um, the, the streams that I'm doing, like I said, I may be doing them on Thursdays. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But what I will be doing is a little extra motivation for myself to get up that early is I'll be doing live streams from uh, 5 a.m. Uh, yeah, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I will be uploading those recordings daily. To those for for those of you that can't make those streams because it is a little earlier for the for where I live, um, but a lot of the European guys and girls, you guys might like it. I get a lot of <laughs> email from you guys, so you guys might like that. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. And uh, I will say too, sometimes they don't upload the videos, and that's only because for some reason after I'm done streaming, sometimes excuse me, the videos get weird and they don't really uh, record to my hard drive correctly. So anyway. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go back to this inking. Uh, stay tuned. There will definitely be more videos, um, which kind of ties into the waking up part and the time at the end of the day. I'll actually have, and this is kind of a refreshing feeling to me, uh, you know, that sacrifice of waking up a little earlier means, <clears throat> like I'm still getting seven hours of sleep, right? You're still getting sleep. It's just you change your life a little bit to better approach how you need it to be, right? So that beginning morning, I can focus on my client work like this. Then I can go to, you know, Go to work, do some awesome artwork there, and then when I come home, it's my time. So if I've got time to work, I can actually devote to getting back to giving you guys the content that you wanted. And we've talked to death. I've had people continually ask me as well, um, where's the paid content? And, you know, it's really weird to have people ask that. Most people, they, they start giving thumbs downs on the video when I start talking about paid content. But that's what I'm saying. It gives me energy and motivation and uh, the time, really, to actually produce more video content for you guys. So, again... If you stuck around for this whole video, appreciate it. And, you know, and I apologize for leaving you guys hanging with actual content-related things outside of the stream. But hopefully this 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. stuff works out. And um, I'll let you guys know. You know, I'll actually do like a little another update like this maybe in a week. We'll do another one of these next Sunday. Uh, maybe and then in a month just to see what's happening. Maybe I need to adjust some time. But anyway, leave some comments in the, in, uh, the, uh, the menu below. I would love to hear if any of you out there have tried something like this or if you guys are doing something like this right now or if there's other things that you guys do to help you get motivated um, more towards people that have full-time jobs part-time jobs it's a little bit easier I find to like get the hours that you need now I'm rambling but anyway yeah please leave some comments I would love to read them and I also get a little discussion started and uh, thank you guys so much and hopefully some of you guys out there I might be able to see you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday in the streams. And that's 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Keep reading comics. Keep making comics. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.